The treaty was signed on June the 28th, 1919. Five years to the day after Austria's Archduke Franz Ferdinand had been shot. The spot chosen for the signing was the Palace of Versailles in Paris. The treaty said that Germany was guilty of starting the war and so had to pay the full cost. Germany was also stripped of all its colonies and only allowed to keep a small army and navy. When the German delegates were led in to sign the treaty, Harold Nicholson was there. We enter the Hall of Mirrors. Through the door, alone and pathetic, come the two German delegates. The silence is terrifying. They keep their eye fixed away from those 2,000 staring eyes. It is almost painful. They sign. Suddenly, from the outside, comes the crash of guns. Thundering a salute. A treaty had been signed, but many believed that it had been done too quickly and that a real peace had not been made. The many different disputes over borders and territories which had contributed to the start of the First World War had not been solved. Germany felt humiliated and resentful that they were forced to accept complete responsibility and pay such a high price. It is easy to criticize the peacemakers. Many people now think they were attempting to do an impossible task in impossible circumstances. The peace didn't seem to be worth all the lives that had been lost. It was not a lasting peace. In September 1939, world war broke out again. The children of 1919 would become the soldiers who had to fight and die in it. <laughs> 